I'm Owen Dita play outside back. I'm Tyler Zanini, I'm also an outside back. I'm Tim Fargiano, and I'm a center mid. Nick Skiba, center back. Hopkinton Hillers boys soccer enter their final three games of the regular season with a record of seven wins, six losses, and two ties. This year's captains have enjoyed their season. Uh, we've had some ups and downs this year. We started the season off with a bad loss, but we bounced back pretty well. And for the majority of the season, we've been doing pretty good. Just a few tough opponents that are always at the top of the league. And with the young group of kids, we've really exceeded expectations, I think. Um, it's been absolutely awesome getting to work with these guys. Um, I think that this year we've had a really positive team spirit, and we've worked really hard together. I think that everyone's really just come together as a team to try to make the most of what we had. And I think that we're passing better this year than ever before on the team. I think that we've really got some good momentum going into the end of the season. At the beginning of this season, we've had a lot of young kids this year, so the chemistry wasn't that well at the beginning. But I think we've uh, got to get, uh, get to know each other a lot better. And I think that's helped us on and off the field. So you can see how that's turned out. And I think we're uh, hitting the peak of our play right now going into the last stretch and hopefully playoffs. I was pretty, uh, I was pretty nervous coming into the season. A um, lot of young players I've never played with and I don't think most of us have played with, but uh, I think we've come together pretty well. Um, we've uh, done a lot of good passing, beat some pretty good opponents, and uh, yeah, we got four games left. Head coach Garrett Sawyer is in his 16th season at the helm and is enjoying working with this year's group. Coach, uh, so getting towards the end of the season here and making that final push towards the playoffs. How has it been uh, coaching this team all year long? That's been a lot of fun. There's uh, a lot of guys on the team that really have a passion for soccer. They show up uh, every day and play really hard. We've got a great group of seniors and captains who want to um, maximize the potential of this team. So it's been a, a positive experience overall. And can you talk about some of the uh, newer guys who's contributed to this year's team? Yeah, we graduated a large group of seniors last year, 13, most of whom were starters. For So we have a lot of new players and a lot of new starters. Um, we have uh, a pretty large group of underclassmen, six sophomores and two freshmen, who are getting a lot of playing time um, and contributing a lot to the team. But they've uh, kind of integrated into the team really quickly. Uh, the older guys respect them and support them, so uh, that's been a, a part of our success. And how's this year's group of captains been? Oh, they've been awesome. Uh, Owen... Tim, uh, Tyler, and uh, Nick, uh, they've been uh, committed to making this the best season possible from the beginning. They put a lot of time in in the offseason, summer league, and fundraising, and uh, they've carried that through with great leadership this fall. So um, a lot of credit goes to our captains for our success this year. All right. Can you talk about uh, where you are in the playoff push right now, what you got coming up? Yeah, our, our record is currently 500 with four games to go, so we need uh, two wins or um, a win and a couple of ties in our last four games. Uh, we've got some uh, good competition coming up as well, but I think that you know, as a team we've really uh, progressed over the course of the season and we're uh, playing our best soccer at this time of the year, so I give us a pretty good chance.